Valheim, known as the 10th world where the Allfather Odin threw down his foes and cast them into the 10th world. You are a fallen Viking warrior who has been born again by the command of Odin and carried out by his Valkyries. You have been charged by the Allfather to explore the 10th world, face its monsters, and defeat its bosses. Only then will you be deemed worthy to enter the halls of Valhalla. Today we have been tasked by the Allfather to defeat every boss in Valheim using only primitive weapons and armor. Welcome to Valheim. This is the primitive challenge. Now real quick, we need to set some rules. Firstly, I can only use things here within my portal hub, which includes cooking, repairing, and even my rested buff. Secondly, I am only allowed to use weapons, armor, and items before fighting Ekthir. That means no potions, restricted food, restricted upgrades, and no forsaken powers. Piece of cake. All right, let's go. And those are the two primary rules for this challenge. Outside of that, the fights, the strategies, that's all up to me. Not that it's going to matter. I'm going to die many, many times. Fortunately, mum didn't raise no quitter. Just someone stupid and stubborn. Now, when doing a challenge like this, I'd recommend leveling up some of your skills. Otherwise, you're going to go insane. For this one, I leveled up my bow, my run, and my jump skill. If you'd like to see how to level up your skills easier, check out this video from another YouTuber called Spazzy Games, who explains it perfectly. I'll put a link to his video in the description below. The first boss on the agenda is the thunder sneezing, jacked up Bambi of a boss called Ekthir. Of course it's raining. The smart thing to do would probably be to wait until the rain finishes, but I'm not smart. Get some early hits in. Oh. Training my skills was probably a good idea. But I have a feeling this is going to get drastically more difficult. Uh, probably straight away. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to regret saying that later on. I need to wait out this rain. Fortunately, we have the world's worst weatherman here to be able to state the obvious. Oh, hey, stop raining. Finally. Sleep through the night. All right, the elder. Walmart. Free beard. Don't tell him I said that. I'm actually a little nervous about this fight. To be fair, I'm nervous about like every fight now going forward because <laughs> I'm just going to every single fight. I'm just going to be more and more severely lower level. What's up, man? All right. Fire arrows. I'm dry. Party time. Oh, this isn't too bad.
Oh. That would have been an embarrassing way to uh, have my first death. Seriously? I thought I was dead there. That very nearly got me. Thank, thank God I trained my skills before these fights. All right, next up is bone mass. The old stink bug. Bone mass is going to be tricky because I can't use potions. That's right. For bone mass, I can't use any poison resistance at all, which is problematic because that's his whole shtick. I mean, he's literally a giant walking. What is he? A booger? I don't know. Bone mass time. This one. Oh. I'm not sure how I'm going to go with this because I don't have any potions. This is going to be a tricky This one and Modder I'm most worried about. All right, let's hope I can just get there without dying. Oh. Guys, guys, come on. Let's talk about this. Oh. Oh, it's a one star. All right. I don't know how I'm going to do this fight. Do I club him or do I try and kill him with... Oh... I might try and club him first. But if he poisons me, I'm dead. Give it a crack. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I need to get early hits, otherwise. Oh my god, I do no damage. Oh! Oh, it's gonna be this is gonna take a while. I'm not wrong. It does take a while. A while of rolling, getting hit, hitting back, getting poisoned, dying, rolling again, hitting more. You get the picture. Oh, that was close. Stamina. Oh. Nah, man. All right, when he does that, I need a dip. I think I'll survive. Fifty percent HP. We're getting there. It's taking its time. Oh, 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 yep, 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 yep. Summon. Oh, 
Oh, my clubs. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and repair this. And a repair later, I'm back at it again. Like I said, mum didn't raise no quitter. Someone's stupid. All right. My clubs are repaired. I even made a second one because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Two hits. Or two combos. Ah, we got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, I thought he got me then. I thought I messed that up. Yep, doing the nay nay. <laughs> oh! Oh, I didn't put stuff on. I just realized I'm butt naked. Hey, that'd make a good challenge, doing this butt naked. <laughs> Be the naked challenge. Always oh, close. Oh, I need to get some stamp. Damn it. Could shoot him, but I'm, nah, I want to finish him with my club. Oh, oh! I thought I was dead. How many times did I die? Four times. Oh. All right, let's get back to the tree house. Because next we have the dragon modder, who's probably going to be even more difficult than that. Well, it definitely will be more difficult than that, but it's uh, new challenges for that one. Yeah, you see, modder lives up in the mountains, and in the mountains you freeze to death unless you have protective gear from the frost. Now the problem is you don't get any before egg there. So I need to come up with a creative solution on how to do this. As you're going to say, it doesn't go according to plan at all. This has got to be the smartest, dumbest idea anyone's come up with in this game. I just need to pause this video right here. I had completely forgotten that I had said this. This isn't smart at all. This is completely dumb. Uh, unfortunately, I had forgotten how modders fight, which is I'm surprised I did because I, I fight them so often, but it, it really dumb idea. For those of you who know, you know, and for those of you who don't, you're about to witness me realize the mistake that I've made. All right, I have no idea if this is going to work. So it might be a bit of an L. But I'm here for it. All right. It is time to cook. Game of Thrones. Pass the dragons. Daenerys Targaryen. Toothless. How to Don't light yourself on fire. How to train your dragons. The works. Oh, she right there. Oh. Oh, she will catch on fire from the... I didn't think of that. She's going to catch on fire from the uh, campfire if she touches it. W idea. Oh. Well, that's not ideal. Well, that's also not ideal. Now, what I had forgotten, or technically I didn't realize, is that during Mother's fight, she puts out every single campfire that isn't sheltered or covered. Problem is, those campfires are what's keeping me alive out here and keeping me warm. So, I'm now freezing to death. 
genius. Oh, not genius. Now, my first solution to the problem was to lead modder down the mountain, out of the mountain biome, and into the plains where it's warm. It's, I mean, it's a desert. That's a smart idea, right? Wrong. You still freeze. This has not gone to plan at all. Now, the ingenious solution that I came up with was to just place campfires under trees and rocks where they would last and just fight modder around that. Which went well. All right, if she stays there. Oh, she's not going to stay there. Oh, no, she's going to stay there. If she stays there, I get her stuck on a rock. And I... Whoa! This is not going according to plan at all. Seriously, Stone Golem? Nah. Do you mind? It's hard enough enough as it's hard enough as it is. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, here we go. What's going on? What are you doing? Whoa! Oh, you're kidding me. Let's chill, man. Will that work? Apparently it does. This is literally what my life has reverted to right now. It's just running around, <laughs> placing campfires in random spots, shooting, and then running again. <laughs> and they like, just rinse and repeat. And this is an annoying thing. Someone's going to comment and be like, why didn't, you, why didn't you just do this? And I'm going to be like, why didn't I think of that? This fight's been going for an hour and 10 minutes. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh oh. No good, no good, no good, no good, no good. Hello, goodbye. Need to get to the fire. Fine. It is fine. Mother is dead. That's right. Mother is dead. I successfully won. Let's never talk about that again. Please. Okay. Moda has been... Is it Moda or Moda? I don't know. Moda has been defeated. So we're four bosses in now. No, wait. 
Yeah, four. Four bosses done, three to go. Next up, Yagaluth, the old Goblin King. Fortunately, that fight's actually a lot easier because it's just meteors, hit the ground, chili vomit. It's going to be famous last words. Whatever. I'm going to rest, recuperate, sort out some food, and then Yagaluth is next on the uh, agenda. All right. Moda has been defeated. I don't know why I'm doing ASMR right now. Uh, Yagaluth, next on my list. Next on the agenda. So here's the here's, here's the problem with Yagaluth. I'm, I don't think I'll survive one hit from him. He does an explosion. Does yeah the chilly breath and then does meteorites. Now I'm pretty sure if anything of that hits me, I'm I'm at the point where if any boss hits me, I'm dead. Like there's no way I survive the hit. Actually, I think I was that at that point with Moda to be honest, but I'm at the point. Okay. All right, I'm now at the point in this where I'm pretty sure any boss will just one shot me. So I need to be careful. Now Yegaluf does, yeah, he's, he does his three attacks, the explosion with his hand, the, the hell could have locks. He does the explosion with his hand. He does the uh, chilly breath vomit thing and then meteors. So I need to be I don't see fighting him with arrows is easier I feel like but it's not gonna do as much damage because he's resistant to fire and he's resistant to pierce so I'm pretty sure out of everything that I have the axe is gonna do the most damage but the axe is gonna make me the most vulnerable so I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll figure it out we will see we will figure it out uh, but it can't be as bad as my. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. All right, let's get to work. Get some early hits in with the axe, and then I'm running and gonna start shooting with the bow. So, okay, okay. If one of those meteors hit me, I'm cooked. Let's go do some axe work. No, let's not do some axe work. Now, the Yagaluth fight isn't actually overly difficult or complicated. It's just long and tedious for this challenge. And other than occasionally getting sniped by a meteor from behind a rock. Nah, that meteor sniped me. Oh, ah. Getting set on fire. Am I dead? No, I'm not. And the odd random goblin joining in on the party. No! Leave me alone. And short king come and got me. The fight isn't actually overly difficult. While the axe does the most damage, I've found out that if you maintain a high enough fire stack, a high enough burn stack, it actually does a lot more damage than any other weapon that I actually have. So a lot of arrows, a lot of bows, a lot of time later, you get there. Oh, big damage. You rat.
Fuck clutched. Call me Robin Hood, man. The meteors are the only things that get me. It's just every now and then he'll pull out a MLG move and just snipe me with a meteor from the sky. Other than that, this fight isn't too bad. Jesus. Bro, faked me out. Ooh. He's almost dead. I'm finishing off with him off with the axe. Yeah, Glue's actually wasn't that bad, to be honest. I, mean, I died four times. But considering he, he, he's like, what, like the, the fifth boss? Four deaths ain't that bad. Like, I'll take that. That's a win. Like, that's that, like, I feel like that's pretty good. All right, cool. So the key to beating Yagaluth is literally just patience. The fight's not really that complicated uh, or difficult. It's just patience. And having a good playlist of songs kind of helps out too. All right. Next up is my least favorite boss in this entire game, uh, the queen. I hate the queen. Oi! Whoa! Miss me. Oh, it didn't miss me. Yeah. All right, let's get some sleep, get rest and buff, repairing, re-equip everything. And the queen, she's going down next. All right, the queen is next on my agenda. There's a portal, it's down here. Um, this one is gonna be a little tricky. I hate the queen and it's in close confines. So I'm not gonna be able to melee her one single bit because she's gonna spawn in seeker drones. That will just, they'll one shot me. And she has those little secret babies that follow, like spawn in and follow her around. So that's also a problem. It's Ugh. this one. I might need to go full. I can't see anything. Oh, do what I mean? I might need to. Ooh. I might need to go like full cheese mode and like hide on a platform somewhere and just shoot her and hope that she can't hit me. No, I'm not joking. I hate the queen and everything about this fight. It is the most painful one out of all of them, especially during this challenge. It took me longer than all the bosses, so enjoy. All right, there is no time like the present. I'm just gonna have to pray. Say a prayer for me, guys. I'm not bothering with that early hit. Is she? Oh. Burn. Oh. Oh, okay. I shouldn't aggro it on me. Oh, is it because I'm. Is it because I'm crashed? Probably not. No, it's not. All right, I just need to keep my distance and keep burning her and we'll get through this. Day prayer, guys. Do you believe? I believe. Have faith. Burn. 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 
But oh, stamina is a bit of a problem actually. So go. Okay. Not do that. Say that so I will not go. Oh, turn the lights off. Carry me home. Go away. I don't really know what she's doing. She's kind of. Every fight I've done with her, she's like crazy aggressive, jumps out of nowhere, and kills me within like three seconds. Where'd she go? Whoa! Oh. That's not good. Can she hit me here? I don't know. I don't think so. She can hit the stuff that I'm standing on though. It's gonna go longer. I mean, it makes sense that it will go longer than Yaglith because she's got 2,500 more HP. But I do do more damage to her at least, but I can't continuously ping her. Like it kind of goes in bursts because then she calls in back up and then I have to deal with that. But the fire ticks are so much more. A good time to die. Oh. Ow. This shouldn't be called the primitive challenge, it needs to be called the patience challenge. Damn. Where is she? Is that her there? So go. Ah, uh, you missed sweetheart. God, this is taking a long <coughs> it's taking a long time. We had such a good run without any seekers. Why'd you have to Ooh. Why'd you have to come and bring some? It was nice just you and me. Whoop. Jump, man. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not. Yeah, 
Yeah, line up. Line up. Uh oh. Right, I can do this. No, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's so close to dying. Like I said, I hate the queen. But after enough deaths and a lot of persistence, you get to this point. Ooh, where is she? I hear her. I hear her. There she is. Oh, there's so much stuff. Ow. Oh, I really don't want to die because she's going to just regen all the health that I've taken from her. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is... That has taken me <clears throat> two hours. I'm not even exaggerating. Two hours and three minutes. Two hours and three minutes. Oh, I hate this fight so much. I'm not even going to bother with these guys. I'm just... See ya. Can you imagine if the footage didn't record? Looks like it did. <laughs> I'd cry. That took so long. Oh, that's, I can't sleep. I'm gonna sit down, chill out a little bit, listen to the rain, calm myself down before I then descend down to hell to face the very last boss, Vader. That's going to take a long time because he's got double the HP of the Queen. He's also fire. He's basically like a super tanky Yagaluth who also spawns stuff at some point, like, like halfway through his, the fight. But I have a feeling that's just going to be a, you know, just going to take time and just chip away at him. So good fun. All right, it's time. This entire challenge, the culmination of this entire challenge has come to this, facing our last enemy, Vader. This is gonna be rough because Vader has twice as much health as the queen did. Oh, I'm nervous. This is like, I don't know, like, how many hours is this? <laughs> like 10, 10 hours or something like that. Um, and it's about to come to an end now. Well, I'm going to have probably a few hours of trying to do this myself. So that's always fun. All right. Take okay, guys. Let's do it. Let's beat the Emerald Flame. And ascend to Valhalla. We won't ascend to Valhalla, but you know what I mean. Let's go. Now, up to this point in the game, Fader is the last boss. He has the most HP and he's an awesome fight. Time to take him out. Oh, great. Oh, he won't catch on fire with us. That is not good. Yeah, he's a... Immune to flame damage. What's up, good man? Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. don't mind me. Mm, doesn't do much damage. It's not gonna be smart. Now arrows is not the good way, a good way to do this, but man, if 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 he hits me once, I'm cooked. HP. Do you?
Whoa! That was not smart. Are you serious? He's not bad enough. What is this? Where's my devoted friends? Oh! Are you kidding me? Seriously, man? Oh, bro. You know what? Sure. Oh. Oh, it looks like it takes damage. Oh, that's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, die. How are you not dead? I don't even care that I died at the end. I do not honestly do not even care. Beta has been defeated. We have completed the primitive challenge. I wish I had a heart, like one of them heart readers, like the smart watches that gave it. My heart was racing towards the end. Oh my God. I'm so glad the fate has been, oh my God, that, that was brutal. That was really, really brutal. That was a cha that was a, like a serious challenge. Like that. Oh my god! All right. Thank God that's done. I'm so glad that's done. But hey, we beat all the bosses using only primitive gear, pre exia gear.
Mission accomplished. Challenge complete. Let me know in the comments what challenge you want me to do next. I'm going to go lay down. I have a headache after that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.